everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to take a look at a godiva secret wig her name is meg by viewer request so here you go hi everyone welcome back my name is coco and this is coco's hair solutions today we're going to be looking at meg by godiva secret wigs in this picture she looks like kind of a very full um, spiky, uh, short, short, but not too short um, wig. And, you know, I think we are all going to be very surprised by this young lady. I'm going to shake her out and get the brush to lift all of the fibers on the top. She's in the color Silverstone, which, of course, is a beautiful color. But look at what I am seeing. I'm seeing length and flip in the back, maybe a little party, and some beautiful highlights around the front with a little bang, lots of fullness on top. So let's see how that translates into a wig. Um, is she gonna look like this? Let's find out. Okay, so Meg's cap construction is a completely closed, closed lace on the front, the top and the crown. We have closed ear tabs with fibers stitched on the underside with a metal stay in there, very, very nice. We also have an, a little bit of a standard nape on this young lady, but it's still covered with that very soft velveteen uh, fabric. And then we have buckle adjusters on the right and the left-hand side of the nape. We've got wonderful, multiple rows of curtains, hair curtains, stitched into these vertical elastic bands to give us all those wefts that make breathability under our wigs very, very comfortable. And it leads to a comfortable fit. And those multiple rows allow for great coverage. Now, if I can, I know I can poke my fingers through here, and you know that too. But when we're looking for coverage, when we're wearing short, pixies, we need to have multiple rows and the rows themselves need to have an adequate amount of hair fiber stitched to them. So that is area that, that's an area that can vary between manufacturers that makes a huge difference in whether or not we see wefts and wefting in our wigs when we wear them. And it's especially true when we wear short pixies. So I'm ready to try this young lady on, aren't you? And so before I do, what I have on today is a Godiva Secret Courtney in the color Silverstone. Isn't she cute? Spiky, fun, perfect for summertime. Summertime's just right around the corner now, you know? Okay, let's try on Meg. Okay, this is Meg. Well, she's got a lot of fullness, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm feeling like Phyllis Diller again. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Okay, this is Meg. She's got some extra length. Let me find out what her dimensions are first, okay? Okay, this is two and a half inches, and we have three inches at the crown. The nape is one and a half inch, and she weighs two ounces. So, this is Meg. Oh, I can see lots of potential with her. Let me do, okay, we're just going to do a Phyllis Diller spin, okay? <laughs> so you can see how much fullness there is here. We're going to do some fun things with her. She's going to look, she's going to look good. Can you see through those wefts at all? I bet you can't. We've got a little bit of length here. She reminds me of the shorter sister to freedom, doesn't she? Well, we'll make her look like Dharma will make, help her look like all kinds of other girls in the family, right? Okay, so my bangs are going to, my hairline is up there. My, my ear tabs are even. So I'm going to start by bringing those hairs right around the, my face, onto my face, and look at the razor cut fringe that we have here. Very, very nice. The bangs can be thick or see-through based on what you do with them. She does have fullness up on top. So if fullness on the top is, is a little scary for you, you might wanna pick a different, a different wig. 
but that just means that we have the option of creating volume or we can tame it down. So it's nice to have that as an option available on our wigs. And it looks like she's already got a party going on in the back, doesn't she? Are you invited? I'm inviting you. <laughs> Anyway, so, okay, so I'm going to, okay, obviously we can leave her going straight up like this. We can sleek her back, and of course it would be really pretty with getting her wet like this. Okay, we don't have to cover our, I mean, we can go ahead and cover our ears and bring that forward just a little bit. Have that movement of the hair show a sweep coming forward as well as going back and then having that flip in the back. Okay, let's, let's have that. We can tuck it behind the ears as an option, can't we? So we can put as little or as much of the, the sideburn area forward and then put that behind the ears and then keep that slicked back. That looks good. All right, let's, and of course you can keep the volume or you don't have to keep the volume. Let's try bringing it all forward a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, I'm seeing a little flip, a little flip in here. So can you see how I was thinking it might look a little bit like, um, like freedom, very short, less top heavy or less length up here. So we've got a little bit more, um, spikiness and potential so you can smooth this down and we can pat it down if we want to make that a little less um buffanti <laughs> yep Alrighty. and plus you can take this over as far as you like and then kind of sweep it over a top up across the top in the crown area just to give you a little bit of a different look part it on the extreme okay we can do that on the other side. Now, my mom used to have hair like this, um, very, very thick and full on the top. And my sister was lucky enough to get that type of hair. So this, this would look good for them. Um, it's not what my bio hair looked like ever, because I got thin, fine, very little hair kind of thing. So. But let's take a look. So we can part this on either side. See? Okay, did I change anything in the back? We can sweep that back, make, make our fingers get large, and then sweep that back. And of course, that would be very, very um, obvious and more pronounced if you uh, wet it down, wet her down. And we will. But we're looking quite a bit different than this young lady, aren't we? Yeah, well, this girl's got some style. Okay, let me go ahead and I'm gonna add some water to her, okay? All right. So get her all as wet as you want. And that's going to bring out the dimension of all the color, the variations of gray and silver white in her. It's going to make a big difference and you're gonna see the, the dark and the light a little bit more pronounced. And look at how just even doing that on the crown and the sides and keeping that separate from the bangs. The bangs are much brighter and whiter where this young lady, okay. <laughs> okay, so she really likes to be fluffed up like this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do a side sweep on her. So we wanna make our sideburns a little bit more spiky, more pronounced. Yeah, look at that. We can actually, yeah, make them more pronounced and then take it from behind the ears and make, turn it into a party, right? <laughs> and we can also do that with our bangs, make our bangs go straight across or make them, make them um, more see-through but just with a little bit of water, let's see, I'm gonna lift that up a little bit. Cause even with, with this, because this is not a, a lace front, having the thicker bangs and even being shorter really disguises that cap line, the hair cap, 
uh, and so we don't have to worry about that. But let's take a look. Okay. Well, and of course, remember, I'm just doing this very quick without checking on my backside at all. But you can see the potential she has. Yeah. Lots of fun. Oh, she's cute. She's really cute. This is Meg. Okay. Meg from Godiva Secret Wigs. Okay, her coverage covers me really well on both sides. And of course, because my bio hair is about the same color as Silverstone, I don't think I need to use any kind of root cover up. And if I want to take that fully behind my ear, as long as it disguises the ear tab, I can get away with having this, see? Bring that fringe forward a little bit and it makes everything blend really well. So a little, a little different look again. I can wear her completely behind my ears and it's very, very comfortable. And then of course, if I wear, you put my glasses on, yeah, it still fits and it feels good behind there. There's not too much, too much coverage. Anyway, well, what do you think about Meg? Yeah, she's kind of cute, isn't she? A little bit longer, a little longer pixie. So we have a little bit more versatility with the length that she provides. Um, still gives us that short look, but it's long enough here in the back to cover our natural neckline if we need that, or to give us a little bit of um, extra pizzazz, right? She's available in eight rooted colors and seven non-rooted colors. So we've got a lot of choices with this young lady, don't we? Okay, well, there's another pixie girl for us from Godiva Secret Wigs. I hope you enjoyed seeing her and meeting her. Thank you so much for joining me today. We will see you next time on Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.